There is a huge problem in PvP worlds. Players have started to abuse an illegal plugin called Automatic Teleblock. So if you teleport into their location, they will tick perfect teleblock you. And if you walk in from outside the render distance, they will start running towards you before you even see them on the map, which means they most likely use this plugin. So what is the solution here? Report this issue to Jagex and then kill them. Report it up. And he's dead. We actually got him. We got him. We got him. We got a key. We got a key. <laughs> you might have noticed that this guy didn't tell block me. It is because I have attempted to kill these people so many times that they have put me on a list where they don't tell block me. 3.5 mil. Okay, I'll take 3.5 mil. No, he's on one. Go for him, go for him, go for him, go for him. You got one free. Oh my. <gasps> Come on. No. Oh my god, you got him. Oh, it's mine. Five mil. Okay. I did attempt to get them one more time using the Darok bombing method. But it's safe to say that it didn't go as planned. However, in the making of this video, Jagex decided to ban third party clients outside of RuneLight, RS Buddy, and HDOS, meaning all these automatic teleblockers were gone. And with all these cheaters gone, I felt confident enough to play RuneScape on my Red Magic 7S Pro mobile. And coincidentally, Red Magic is today's video sponsor. Red Magic was designed to give you the best gaming experience on your mobile phone. The Red Magic 7S Pro is armored with the new Snapdragon 8 Plus Generation 1 chip, a true full screen display, and the best cooling system on a gaming smartphone. After testing out this Red Magic phone for an hour, it does doesn't heat up as badly as my current phone uh, whenever I play RuneScape on mobile, so that's a big plus for the Red Magic. The Red Magic 7S Pro comes in three different designs, the Supernova, the Mercury, and the Obsidian. Ooh. I must also point out that the graphics on this phone is absolutely amazing. I can tell the difference between this one and my current phone. And starting July 26th, there will be a giveaway on the Red Magic website. All you need to do is click the link in the description down below. With that being said, I'd like to welcome you all to another adventure video where anything and everything happens all around the RuneScape. Hope you guys enjoy. There's no way he lives this. You're a streamer, he says. And you're dead! Mr. Dolly Tooth is dead. He had no coins. He had no coins, just a Darrow set. It's supposed to be like 500 mil, his entire cash stack, but no, you're a streamer. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> Diamond bracelet, nature runes, coins, one mil. Okay, it's just one mil. Okay, 2.7. <clears throat> There's a guy with private on Darren. His house is in Alcidius, so we're gonna pay him a visit. He's dead. Dead, he's dead. Mr. Darren is dead. He's down. We got Larus. How much coins is that? 65k? 842k, beautiful. There's a guy fishing here, level 3, and I got my hard crime and scout zone here ready to kill. And he is dead. Rune Miner is dead. Obsidian Cape is there. Not so much. Obsidian Cape, I guess. 1 mil. I was splashing here, and there is a guy here. Level 126 in danger zone in farming guild if your main wants to get him. We got a key. 470k. He did say he's probably not risking anything and I think I believe him. Let's add the bolt. 755. 
I have recently spent a lot of time at Darkmare on my PvP locked hardcore Iron Man, and I've noticed that there's a lot of people killing these Vire Watches in PvP world because the Vire Watches are being farmed and botted on normal worlds. So I had to gear up my main and try to kill them all. Bye. This is BI. 220k. Good fight, sir. Like and sub. <laughs> 900k! Surprise, surprise! Wait, I actually killed him. What? <laughs> Wait, I got a key as well. What? Five mil? They're there all the time, and I just killed one of them. He just died to a Vire Watch. I did find and kill like five more people here at the Vire Watches, but most of them only risk 200 to 300k. They don't risk too much here. So yeah, moving on. As I was playing my PvP Hardcore Iron Man, I saw this guy in full graceful walking south of edge. Um, hello? That's a lot of feathers. 65k feathers. 172k in feathers! I was like full HP, 47 mil, just like that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. Fuck this, bro. Oh. I'm a Vinci engineer, go on, you little pussy. Dying on my hard cry, man. On that HP, the, the, where's the effort, bro? Where's the effort, man? We're doing a fucking Carol DH fight, the engineer, man. Why are you just, why are you just swinging your axe, bro? On it, man. Learn, honestly, I love you, see engineer, man. You need to learn a PK, buddy. Honestly, too much fucking scrying people in the fucking Lumbridge basement, bro. You literally sat there and you're just main handing a Darok axe, bro, and you still somehow get the kill, bro. It's the most least effort kill for I've ever seen. Oh man, that annoyed me. Do you guys remember the automatic tail blockers I talked about earlier in this episode? Well, the client ban didn't do anything! So now they are all back more than ever. Falador, Varrock, Miscellanea, everywhere. Oh my god, I actually killed him. Thank you, Mr. Automatic Tail Blocker. I was trying to teleport away as well, but he was just too quick with the automatic tail block. 3.4 mil, thank you very much, that's a nice little loot there. As I was running around, I found another auto TB here, this time in the multi. So I had to call my friend. Nice, as soon as you untangle, we come. Oh, no, yeah. we're coming. Surely dead. Nice. Nice. If you'd like to see me kill more cheaters, give this video a like. At least 3 mil? 2 mil. A friend in a Discord server I'm in pinged everyone about a guy runecrafting with an eternal glory. He was level 40 and he didn't have an account. So I borrowed my friend's account and I tried to kill him. I can't believe it. Never felt this way. <laughs> I fumbled the bag. But the guy didn't notice that I had TB'd him, so he came back. Okay, I got a TB. Oh no. He missed! He could have killed me with his dragon fire shield special attack, but he hit a zero and then he survived by running to the ditch. But unfortunately for him, he had private on. So when he hopped world to continue runecrafting, we found him. But this time my friend Hamguard showed up to help me kill him. But as you can see on the top of the screen, he actually died to the dragon fire shield. However, that just meant that the account had less food to tank to the bank. Is TB? I can't believe you died. Oh, that's a big hit. 27. That's another big hit. Come on. 31. No! The zero. What's my pathing? Okay, one, one more freeze. 
No way, we got him. Yes, we got him. We made profit. Uh, Eternal glory. Oh my god. Ring of endurance. Wait, actually? The ring. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my wait, so this is what he had, right? This is what the uh, the runecrafter lost and This is what ham lost my friend. So yeah 112 like 100 mil we ended up splitting the profit in three So 33 mil to me 33 mil to ham guard and 33 mil to the guy who scouted this man So yeah a solid 33 mil profit and I also found this guy in full torva at earth warriors high so much risk he had However, he tanked all the way to the bank, even though I was in full max. So yeah, that was painful to see him walk away like that. Hello! It's time for me to once again inject you guys with some Swedish culture. And today we got something from the northern Sweden. Coffee sheets. I know, it might sound weird. Uh, I've tried this once. It's absolutely disgusting. But today we're gonna show you how to taste it. Drink it and eat it. Start off by pouring yourself a cup of coffee. Then chop the coffee cheese into cubes. And after that, just add your cheese into the coffee and you're done. Zalut, skål. And whenever you feel a bit hungry, just take one out. And... It was disgusting. Actually disgusting. And one last thing, next week I'm actually traveling to Greece. So if there's anything you need me to try while I'm down there, let me know in the comments down below. And in the next episode we might have a Greece cultural episode. So I'll see you guys then. Remember to give this video a like and subscribe. Bye bye. Mm.